Rats everywhere. How'd they get on the ship? And Spoot Town here. This time we've got Mantix. Dead Zone, uh, the Burn-In Starter Box. Good little collection. Uh, certainly enough to get started in the game. And some pretty nice models in this. You get two plastic progenitors. One chem grade launcher and one with a spitter rifle. And you get 15 hard plastic nightcrawler stalkers. And you get four plastic nightmares. Chem thrower, big drill, heavy chem thrower, and two handed drill op weapons options. You got to use super glue on all these. It comes with um, your 25 millimeter and 40 millimeter bases. Now let's open the box and take a look at the sprues, see how they are. And then we'll also do a nice kit build after that. So here's what's in the box. You get two Night Terror sprues, which are really nice. And we get, so the Night Terrors, there's four, two on a sprue, so you get four total. You've got 15 of these night crawlers, and these, so three sprues, five on each, I believe. And wonderful, got some bases, plastic ones, for your night crawlers, and then some MDF bases. 40, about 40 millimeter, all right. And those must be for our night terrors. And then you get, uh, let's see, one, two of these guys. Here's the legs for the night terror. They come in two bags also. So here's your progenators. And they're looking pretty nice and detailed. It's all in the bag, so you don't lose anything perfect. So we'll open that. Night Terrors. Take a look at the Night Terror sprue. In front of the bodies. Well, let's start with the heads, which are pretty neat. Nice heads. Nice rat looking guys. So you gotta take a look. These guys are pretty sharp toothed. Kinda bullish looking. We got some good bodies right here. Another one, the Kim Spitter, and then the other big gun here. This one. This seems like another fuel tank or something for one of the weapons. Here's the feet that go on the legs. So you put the legs on, then the feet onto the legs and then to the body I would think. And then over here is your big drills. Drill baby drill. And you're going to have a two-handed drill and a one-handed drill. There you go. Let's click the one-handed. Must be a fuel tank down here. So the Nice looking arm here. Here's your stockers. Uh, so this is the same kit that you'll get five of in uh, the um, Bolt Chaser set. And this is your basic um, forces for the vermin, the space rats. Got a body here.
You got your legs. These tanks are really wonky to glue on, but you can do it. A couple of nice knives. There's a body. There's the tail. Various hand weapons, spitters. There's a couple more bodies. Here's the arms. More bodies. Nice heads. These are nice to put on the table. I'm going to use this for Necromunda as well as some other space games. So that's the sprue. You get three of these. That makes it 15. Alright, we'll be back and put some of these together. In the meantime, press that like button, subscribe, press the bell so you can get an update, and go out and get yourself some more minis. So we put together the Beer Men Faction Starter um, Space Rats, and I wanted to show you how they look. We have, in the back there, there's five of the crawlers. It comes with 15, I just made five to show you from a kit, so here we go, the progenators, I guess they're like second in command, some range and power in their weapons, this is their, um, what is it, chem rifle, I believe, and so you can see this is pretty nice, a lot of detail. So they're certainly uh, better material than their plastic versions with the Night Terrors. So the definition on these is really nice compared. There you go. And then here are these guys. They're pretty big scale, which is nice. But again, their skin detail could be a lot better. And then here you go. This is the two-handed drill. It's got three drills up here in the front. See that? Nice details on the back. Tails kind of whacked put together. So, but I figured it out. I just clipped off the butt end of it or the front end of it. And then as a post, it was easier to glue in. It comes with some kind of beveled tab. I don't know what you're supposed to do with it. But, there you go. That's better. And he gets the nice gas mask on the face. There's the backpack. Details, a little soft. But from a distance, you won't really tell if you paint it well. So, comes on their little MDF faces. And here's one of the options. I guess it takes a, uh, with the two of these, they get a melee added. So he gets like an extra attack out of having two. And I guess it takes a, a hard hard point or something like that off the team. I just started reading the book downloadable free from Mantic. It's pretty good. Here's the crawler with the grenade launcher I think it is. So he's pretty neat. He's got his tank. Whoops it around. There's the tail. They do have a slight awkward uh, stand to them, like how they stand is a little forward, top heavy. And another one, because you get four of these night terrors, and they are nice as far as that aggressive monstrous look. 
Well, that's a quick look at what we get with the starter box. Got his knife for quick assault. Ray gun, I think it is. And then, let's do a quick size comparison. I've got Space Marines. There's a captain next to a crawler and the Ramin. So there he is next to the Space Marine captain. And there he is. And since I got into these for Necromunda, I thought I'd put him next to a Goliath. So that's a crawler next to a Goliath. So this would work down in the catacombs of Necromunda. And then just a quick showing of why I got into these guys. Since I couldn't find any good space skaven in any way, shape, or form from Warhammer. So I put together my own conversion from a Plague's Monk kit. And so here he is. He's got a couple of bolters. Or I forget what this pistol is, but that's a Goliath weapon. So I wanted him to fit in there and you can see size wise they do pretty good thank you for watching Sprue Town see you next time don't forget to like subscribe and maybe donate